G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to be ranking the 2019 AFL coaches. It is just the senior coaches that have coached this year, plus a couple of caretakers. Without wasting any more time, let's rank all the AFL coaches for 2019. Does it go on who's the best? Does it go on their 2019 season? Does it go on who I like? You know what, all of that's gonna uh, come into account. Ross Lyon. Any team Ross Lyon coaches, they're quite successful, they're usually quite good, but they can be a little bit boring to watch, which is fine if you're winning, I guess. Like, no one cares about results when you're making grand finals, which he clearly has. Like, he's had a lot of success, but I just find them a little bit boring to watch. Probably from a success standpoint, he should be higher, but I don't know. I reckon I'm going to chuck him and leave him in the C column. Um, Lukey Beveridge, he's pretty, he's, he's alright, he's not bad, I suppose Premiership coach, but has showed pretty little before then, and shown pretty little after then, but um, you can't take that away from him, and I reckon he's a pretty good bloke as well, so he can go in the B column. I feel for Bolton, but he's probably... That's stiff, he's probably in the D column. Um, yeah, I do feel for him, I thought, I don't know, I thought he seemed like a pretty good bloke, seemed like a pretty good coach. Um, it's just a shame that, I don't know, for some reason he couldn't get, get the blokes going. So I'm gonna whack him in the D for now, but I do like a reshuffle towards the end. Ken Inkley can't be more than a C. He's a bit, yeah, he's, He's nothing special. I wouldn't be surprised if old Kenneth loses his um, his job. I don't know. I just feel like they've just been too middle of the road, Port Adelaide, the last few years, and they don't seem to be going anywhere from that. Um, so that's why old Kenneth can can go on the C column. Brad Scott, from all reports, sucked a little bit, but he had a bit of success. So I'm going to put him in the C. I've got him all quite low early. Um, I might have to re reshuffle in a sec, but yeah, Scotty can go in the C. John Worsfold, I don't think, at this point in his career is that impressive either. Um, that side that he has, <laughs> that he's coaching, the old Bombers, they are that inconsistent. Yeah, I just don't know if John Worsfold's the guy to take the Bombers to the promised land. But, I know nothing about football, so if you're on the Essendon board and you're weighing up that decision, don't take, don't take my uh, thoughts into account. All right, let's go to the Goats. Um, Clarkson Goat, I can Buckley Fair Goat. Um, Adam Simpson Fair Goat. Well, not Goat, but like they're all up there, aren't they? Hardwick, I would say he's up there. Johnny Longmire. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I really like, I like Bucks. I like how he conducts himself in the media. I like how he can take the piss a bit. Um, I like how he seems like a full serious operator, but um, I don't know, the, the way he talks in press conferences, he, he puts a lot of things into perspective which I love, I reckon he's, yeah, a cracking coach. Adam Simpson, I wasn't convinced of for a long time. Um, wasn't convinced, and he proved me wrong in terms of uh, winning a flags, but yeah, I wasn't convinced, but I am convinced now. I reckon he's probably a good coach. I think it's hard to argue when he's, he has won a flag, but um, Damien Hardwick, early on in his career, he used to sort of moan in the in the media a little bit and just be a bit of a, a bit of a sook but I don't know to his credit he held on to his job and and took took the tigers all the way so I think you've got to respect his coaching and what he's done over the last couple of years with all the injuries the tigers have had I think is pretty impressive and that's probably why Bucks is up there as well um, yeah just what they do with the depth of that list when when the going gets tough and the tough gets going throughout the season I think a big tick for them. And uh, old horse. Had a rough couple of years recently, horse. Um, 
with the Swannies. They haven't been absolutely firing, but I think they're finally rebuilding. But I don't think a Swans rebuild looks anything like a Carlton or Melbourne rebuild. I think a Swans rebuild is, I don't know, a couple of years just out of the eight and then you're back because they've got such a young list. Like when you think of like your Heaney's and your Mills and your Haywards and I don't know, there's a plethora of uh, other individuals I could name that I can't think of at the top of my dome. But um, yeah, they've just got that many young players that it's no surprise that they're not in the eight at the moment. But it, once again, they'll probably bounce back quite quickly. All right, let's go back to the rankings. Chris Fagan, he's probably up there. He's probably up there, and uh, I think his resume just keeps growing as the year goes on, old fags. Cameron, probably a B for mine. Pretty, pretty, he, he's done pretty well with the, the injuries and um, the amount of outs GWS have, especially each trade period. Um, for him to just keep keep the the GWS a genuine chance each year, I think is quite good. Um, so fair play to you, Camo. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I'm just being harsh because they got sacked, but I I really did not think that um, yeah that the Saints were going to go anywhere with uh, Richo. I did not think that the Saints were... Yeah, he just, I don't know, he didn't scream premiership coach for me, but um, maybe I'm just making those decisions because they got sacked, I don't know. <laughs> um, Stewie Jew, I reckon, had a bit of stiff luck. The Suns, yeah, they've copped it a little bit, but I don't reckon he's an awful coach. Um, he's got a bit of culture and, and talent to work with up there. Like, he's got to work, I don't know, sort out their culture and... He's got a lack of talent up there, is what I mean by the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, Stuart Jew, he's, I don't know, he's not too bad. Is it weird having Stuart Jew and John Worsfold in the same category? Probably, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move Worsfold up. Ross Lyon's very stiff as well, so I'm gonna move him up too, because, uh, yeah, I don't think you can have a bloke who, you know, every team he's coached has made a flag be in the C category. All right, old Chris O, Chris Scott. He walked into a flag, but he's also had the Cats up contending for finals every other year that he's coached, which is pretty impressive. But also, a lot of luck has fallen his way. It's not every day Dangerfield just walks into your club for no, no reason at all. It's not every day Gary Ablett just walks back into your club for no reason at all. Um, B for now, Chris. B for now. If you do it again, if you win a flag this year, then you'll probably go A. I think that's fair. Um, is that fair considering Nathan Buckley hasn't won a flag and Chris Scott has? I don't know. I don't really base it off anything. I'm just going, going with the flow. All right, <clears throat> the last few. What do we got here? Don Pike. Don't rate him. <laughs> I really don't rate him. Um, got them to a flag. Tough one. I'm going to leave him at the C at the moment. Reece Shaw, probably a B. Early on in his career, but he's done a reasonable job. David Teague, the bloody messiah, goes right up the top for mine. He is Clarkson-esque. Now that's a bit silly. I'll put Teague. Tiggy B, too early to call. <laughs> Brett Ratton, C though. He's already coached before and wasn't very good. I think he got the Blues to a finals series, to be honest, but um, it'll be interesting to see what Rats does at the Saints. And Goody, what do I do with Goody? What do I do with Goody? Two great years and then one of the worst footballing capitulations a year later. Goody, goody, goody. I don't think we adapted to the 666 well. I also don't think any of our players were fit. And we've had a lot of injuries. Oh, this will be a bit controversial. I'm going to have him B. I'm going to have Goody B. 
I think next year's telling though. I think next year's, yeah, huge. All right, let's have a look. Do I have to reshuffle a little bit? Leon Cameron, potentially up one. I'm gonna do it. I'm pretty content with that. All right, guys, that is another video. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone who watched, and I will see you guys very, very soon for another video. Cheers.